Premier League is back, so let's do a little rundown on Liverpool. Salah rescued Liverpool to basically give them that 2 1 victory to gain all three points to keep their foot on Manchester United neck to keep <laughs> sniffing in United but sitting at third place. But the thing is, you know, Mohamed Salah promised to push for that 40 goal haul. Think about it Salah pushing for the 40 goal haul. Is that going to affect the team? Because that certain ball you're supposed to pass to other players to get those goals in too so they could keep feeding you that ball instead of being selfish. You understand me? And the question is, do you guys think Salah is underperforming? Because Salah, <laughs> Salah been missing for a while, man. Don't let that one goal fool you. Not taking anything away from Salah. I praise Salah and I basically criticize Salah. But he's been underperforming, going missing in games, and Mane still have to do the work, which I've been mentioning since the beginning of the fucking season. You know, and Adam Lallana, let's talk about this guy for a second. He's injury. This guy is injury prone, behavioral problems. Just because he's English, he's getting way more opportunities than he surely deserved. This guy is not a top class footballer, nor do this guy have potential to be special. He's just an average player. How many times have you seen cases of a sub being sub? <laughs> Let me repeat that. How many times have you seen cases of a sub being sub? And today, Mane, Mane was classless. Dog his goal tied the game to give Salah goal the opportunity to win the game. He was classless. First the dive, clearly dive. I think my nigga been hanging around too much daily. I leave me. I think my nigga got more like too much of a relationship with the Tottenham players because my nigga have been taking acting class into diving. This guy basically went down screaming for the life. You know what I mean? For help me, ain't no fucking PK kid. You bought that should have been a red card. And then another incident. The handball. My name should have been sent off. Now I can't wait to see Liverpool fans or other, you know what I mean, fans that's partially blinded, you know, by, the, by some decision when it comes to a team. If that was another team who did that to, you know, Liverpool, the whole world would have been set on fire. Mane should have been sent off. I don't give a fuck if I like Mane or not. He should have been sent off. But the thing about it, man, Klopp is definitely managing the team. You know what I mean? Beating it up. You know what I mean? Showing what he got. But let's see if he can do it consistently till the end of the season. Because this is where it all counts. But not taking away anything from Salah. He had a superb season. You know, Mane as well. And Van Dijk coming to Liverpool and becoming a hit. I know pundits and media was waiting on Van Dijk to fail. But so far, so good. He's leave up the expectation and definitely deserve that captain armband because he is a leader amongst a lot of boys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified. I love you all. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it.